If you've ever wanted to create your own NFT or wanted to learn a little bit more about it, then this video is for you. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to create my own NFT, uh, actually create the art itself, and then I'm going to extract that art uh, and I'll actually put it on the marketplace uh, from start to finish. So stay tuned in this video. I think most people probably have this or have heard of this. You're going to need MetaMask and then you're just going to need some creative skills really at the end of the day. Uh, I started to create something uh, which I'm going to go through. I use a program called Canva, uh, Canva, which is a really cool program that lets you create things like this, um, which is essentially a Shiba Inu dog uh, that I've created here uh, that you can see. And I've, I've placed different animations on here. So I'm just going to delete a few of these things so I can show you guys how, how I did this. Uh, the first thing I did was I found a dog, a picture of a dog online to kind of start a sketch um, of my NFT artwork. And after that, I essentially just pixelated the dog in Photoshop. If you don't know how to do that, there's probably programs online that let you create this into big pixel blocks. And that's how most NFTs look like a lot of times. Uh, and then what you can do is you can go in here in, in Canva. It's free to do this. You can go to this elements and then you can find like different things. Uh, click on this little filter up here to the left side. Let me just make sure you guys can uh, can see this. Yep, you can. There's something called animated. Just hit apply. Everything in here now is going to be animated. And you can do like, you could just type in like space. And then, and then just find things like planets or galaxies or whatever else, um, you know, such as this right here. You can just create these things. And it'll just load a bunch of different galaxies here, as you can see. Um, and, and you can just create your own NFT and you can be creative with it, uh, with whatever you like. So we could just create this and maybe have this here, right? Like, like you got to be artistic with it, obviously. Uh, add some text here as well. Maybe we like, you know, this text here. And then we can just say first edition. And I'm just going to place that here. You could use this animate piece here as well. So you can make it all just kind of tumble in. You can see how there's different ones. There's this thing called Neo, Scrapbook, which is pretty neat, Pop. So I'm just going to create one of them that are free. Use one of these that are free. I'll just use this. So I'm going to click on this. So everything is getting animated now. And essentially, I have a, a pretty fast and uh, low, low tech version of, of some artwork I can sell to the marketplace. Uh, so let's just say this is the piece of artwork I like. Uh, I have another one that I've done, which was a lot nicer and prettier, which is, um, I believe it is this one, but I think it got saved. Yeah. Yeah. So it got saved, but anyhow, we can just save this here. And what you do is you just download this as a MP4 video. You're going to want to download an MP4 video for the actual file, and then you're going to want to download a PNG for the cover picture. So you're going to download both of these. So just click download. It's going to download this video for us. And while it's doing that, I'll hop over to uh, Rarible uh, so you, we can go through and talk about how this all works. So there's going to be a button here uh, that says create uh, on the right side. So I'm going to click this create button. And at this point, it's going to ask me, uh, do I want to do a collection that is going to be a single or is it going to be multiple? If you sell multiple, that means I can have this artwork have a hundred pieces to it. So a hundred copies of this essentially. So one out, you know, zero out of a hundred essentially is where it starts. And you can sell a hundred versions of the same thing uh, of my first edition Shiba Inu dog. Uh, so it looks like the video has downloaded or I could do a single auction where I just sell one. There's no difference in pricing in terms of like cost or anything of that sort. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you select really at the end of the day. Uh, it just depends on how you want to sell your artwork. So I'm just going to create multiple here. I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to pick over the edition that I did of the Shiba Inu, the first edition um, animation here. So you can see it loaded up here. And this is where I was referring to you need to upload a cover picture. Uh, so we would have to go back here, go download, 
and then download a PNG. You want to download a PNG just because it's higher quality. So I'm going to wait for this thing to download. And then once it's done downloading, I can, uh, I can start to move on to the next step here, which is essentially uploading the cover photo. And then now I have to essentially choose two things. I, got, I, got, I have to do a fixed price or an unlimited auction. Uh, so in this one, I'm just going to do a fixed price, and I'm going to I'm going to mark it for uh, you know 0 0.005 or five uh, Ethereum, which is in hundred. It tells you here the currency uh, exchange there based on the crypto price at the moment, and you can you can set this to anything you want, but Ethereum's probably the most popular one here to use. So each one will go for hundred and ninety six dollars. There's this other button that says unlocked with purchase. So if you want to like give a code or a link to a file or you want to give like you want to actually sell an item, another digital like ebook or whatever you want to sell, really, you can put the link here and that that they can redeem this after that point, after they purchase. And then you're going to choose the collection where you want to host the tokens. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on uh, rare ribble. Uh, so we're just going to leave that. And then this is where you start to name it. So I'm going to name this Shiba Inu First Edition. And then put a little dog emoji maybe. Uh, and I could even put it here at the front so it looks nicer. And then after purchasing will be the All right, so you just put a little description there. There's a section called royalties. Royalties are essentially getting paid back to you whenever the actual artwork continues to resell. So if it continues to resell and flip, you continue to get royalties forever. So this is pretty cool. 10% uh, standard, but you can move this up to 15 or 20%. It's really up to you. I don't think it's going to hurt the marketplace, um, you know, f demand for your product or sellability if you do 20% or 10%. I think anything above that's probably a little risky. And then the amount of tokens, essentially. So you could do 100, you could do 10, you could do 1,000, you could do 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million, right? You can keep going. So we could just do 100 here. And then you could do something called properties, and these get listed right below the listing. So I can do like addition. If I, if I know I'm going to make more of these, I could do addition one. I could do style. We can call it um, happy face, whatever, right? Um, color, brown, right? You could, you could do whatever you want here, or you could do like size, medium, and, and really that's all you do. And then you can click create item. And then once you cl click create item, it's going to bring up your MetaMask here. And then... Um, you have to click start and you have to mint the the actual um, NFT. So this is the part where it gets expensive uh, to mint the NFT. You're going to pay some price. So let's just see what the pricing is right now if I wanted to mint this. So I'm going to click create again because I accidentally clicked out. If I click start, it's the gas price is ridiculous right now. It's $298. When I did this earlier, I have actually minted something so I can show you how this looks on the platform. Um, it was about $200. So I actually had to pay $200. I'm going to reject this. I had to pay $200 to mint uh, these actual Shiba Inu NFT tokens. So once you do finish that process, it takes like 10 seconds and the money gets deducted from your MetaMask wallet. You click on My Items. And then you can see here, I actually have some Shiba Inu art that I'm selling. I have a hundred of these that I'm selling. And uh, you can take a look here at the artwork. Uh, and you can see it's very similar to the one that we just created. Let me just move my video over so you can see everything here. And then if I scroll down here on the right side, you can see the style, the addition, bids. There was one guy that actually bid four cents for all for 99 of these which obviously i'm going to reject uh i'm not going to accept that 
and then uh, yep, that's that's all you really have to do. And at this point, uh, my artwork is there. I should I should want to you know start sharing this on Twitter or you know on this YouTube video. Look at the link in the uh, in the description if you guys want to buy this. There's only a hundred of these available. I think with uh, the boom that Shiba Inu tokens or coins are going through right now. Uh, I think this will probably sell pretty pretty quickly. So that's the reason why I created it. I thought it was really neat. I didn't see anything else on the marketplace. But that's really all you have to do. And you just wait around and, and see if people buy it. There, I would I would bet if I don't market this at all, uh, I'm not going to probably get a lot of hits because there's probably a lot of items. The good thing, though, is that there's a barrier of entry. It cost me $200, really about $250 uh, to be able to put this on the marketplace. So not everyone is creating this, uh, which is actually a good thing in a sense that there is some barrier of entry because then – uh, the artwork marketplace is not just going to be flooded with crap and just just a bunch of you know bunch of stuff which which will just hurt the marketplace in the long run. So I do like that that there is some costs associated with this. Uh, but that's that's all you have to do, guys. Uh, you know, use Canva, easy way to create it here. Use Rarible, use MetaMask, and then pay the fee. Uh, one thing is be very, very certain of the description because you cannot change it. And then I believe on the price, you can only go down on the price. You cannot go up. Uh, so be very careful about that uh, and just be aware of it because you will not be able to change that in the future. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to support me, uh, go ahead and buy one of my pieces of artwork I just created here. Thanks, everyone.